A wireless network allows you to connect one or more computers or other devices such as printers so that you can share files, printers, and access to the Internet. Unlike a wired network, in which you use Ethernet cables to connect devices to the network and communicate between them, a wireless network uses radio signals. This freedom from cables gives you great flexibility when using your network connected devices. A wireless network allows you to place a variety of wireless enabled devices in convenient locations throughout your home without the expense and trouble of having to install Ethernet cable access in each location. Freedom from cables also allows you to move devices, such as your laptop, from room to room and remain connected to the network as long as you are within range of your wireless router's signal. The most essential elements of a wireless network are the wireless router and the modem. The wireless router creates a local area network, or LAN, and manages communication between all the networked devices. The modem connects to your wireless router and provides your local area network with access to the Internet, which is called a Wide Area Network, or WAN. To access the Internet, you need an Internet Service Provider, or ISP, such as your local cable or DSL companies. In order to identify the devices on the local area network and manage communication between them, the router assigns each device a unique Internet Protocol address, or IP address. Like your home address, used by the post office to deliver mail, these addresses allow the router to know where to send information. The wireless router assigns the unique IP address to a device when the device connects to the network. An IP address consists of four number segments, separated by periods. The local area network is defined by the first three number segments and is shared by all connected devices. The last number is unique for each device. The wireless router itself has an IP address called the gateway address. It comes pre-assigned by the manufacturer and does not change unless you change it. When you set up your wireless router, you have the opportunity to give your network a unique name, different than the default name provided by the manufacturer and different from other networks in your area. A unique network name makes it easy to identify your network when you try to connect a wireless device to it. It also keeps you from mistakenly joining another network with the same name. Be sure to record your wireless network name because you'll need it when you connect wireless devices to your network. You'll also need the network password, which you create when you set up your network security. Network security prevents unauthorized access to your wireless network and protects your data from being read. The best way to secure your wireless network is to use encryption and a wireless password. When you enable encryption, all your network's wireless communication is scrambled or encrypted so that the data cannot be read by anyone not connected to your network. Encryption also requires you to select a password. A device cannot connect to your network without knowing the password. Be sure to remember your network password because you will need it, along with the network name, to connect devices to your network. The encryption methods commonly available are WEP, WPA, and WPA2. WEP is an older standard and is now considered to be the least secure method. Older network products may only support WEP. WPA is more secure than WEP, and WPA2 is the most secure. Whenever possible, use WPA or WPA2 encryption. For more information about wireless networking, important tips, and troubleshooting information, see HP's Wireless Printing Center website, www.hp.com slash go slash wireless printing.